All right, what's going on guys? I just got to the shop, it is it's 10 o'clock. Um, shop opens at 11, um, it's Friday, so I'm expecting to be just a little bit busier today. People are obviously getting their paychecks today, so kind of expecting a, little, a couple more people than uh, a Monday through Thursday. Uh, just gonna go drop off a few of the online orders. If you guys wanna go browse the website, it is getting updated 24 seven. Uh, we ship, if we can't ship same day, we try to, but everything goes out within 24 hours of your order. And you should get your package in two to five uh, business days so yeah we try to nail shipping because i know how annoying shipping can be waiting for packages like two weeks it's frustrating so yeah i'm gonna go drop these off uh, i'm gonna take the camera with me uh, and i'm gonna lock up shop real quick it is absolutely freezing in here it is 60 degrees but i am too cheap to put on the heater at the moment but if it dips below 60 then we're for sure putting on the heater ignore the sign in the background but i just want to show you guys how close this post office is to the shop like realistically i could have walked there but yeah you know like i got a car you know like why would i why would i not do that but uh just give me like give me like two seconds you know we're just gonna we're just gonna drive on by one second one second we're almost there just gonna drive down the street here are they open yes yeah, it's friday and we are now at the post office not even what a 20 second drive just like that there's the post office so yeah we're gonna we're gonna drop off the, these few packages all right and just like that literally not even two minutes i am back at the shop so that's what i'm saying your packages will go out expeditiously yeah i'm pretty much just gonna get the shop ready to go uh there's not too much to do i kind of uh finished everything last night we got in a few pairs we're pretty stacked up on size 12 through 13 a lot of people have been coming in to sell those sizes for whatever reason i just a coincidence i guess but yeah we also got let me show you let me let me let me highlight some of these pieces that we got in because i don't think i picked up the camera since like tuesday and obviously shit has come in since tuesday so we got in a huge clothing haul we got a whole bunch of supreme stuff most of it sold already we got a nice little box so i'll go i gotta fix that chinatown market uh beanie supreme hat we had 15 backpacks this is my last backpack I put them all at like 15 bucks. Another Carhartt beanie right there. And then we also just got just some cheap jackets. Nice stuff. Yeah, we got some nice jackets. These are literally brand new with the tag still on it. Got it for five bucks. A market hoodie, brand new, 15 bucks. Uh, let's see, what's some other stuff that we got in here that's pretty nice? Denver Nuggets VIP. Now that it's cool to be a Denver Nuggets fan. We got this Aim Leon Door Sherpa. Got it at 35 bucks. This Park Projects jacket, brand new. Nice little heavyweight jacket for the winter time, 25. Every other Thursday hoodie or fleece Sherpa thing, 30 bucks. And then this cashmere, yes, you heard it. Cashmere little knitted sweater. Uh, we got it at 40 bucks. So yeah, we definitely we definitely got some nice little pieces in. A majority of today, uh, you guys are gonna be spent right over here in this corner, watching over everything, getting, uh, getting some nice clips and stuff like that. But yeah, that's pretty much it. That's what that's what opening looks like. Oh, we also got a. These came in like literally right before I closed last night. Some of uh, the Buttercup Powder Puff uh, SBs. Uh, these are hideous, by the way. I don't know, but you know what? To each their own. To each their own. I can respect the cool concept behind it, but oof. Yeah, that's pretty much it. How the tables have fucking turned, huh? Look at you. So you're looking for cash or store credit today? Store credit, but just. You looking? Cool. No store credit. No, sure. It's twenty percent more. Is it actually the number you're giving me is 20% more? Yeah. Yeah, well then maybe. See? We'll see. Got him. Super moons. What do you want on these? Mm -hmm. Appreciate you, man. Take care. Pretty fair numbers, like uh, I want $100. $100? Hundred dollars? And it was like three. It don't matter. I can ask my employee right here. Like, we, these are not moving. They might sell at 100. I don't think so. But... Uh, you're looking at 60 cash or 75 store credit on those? Okay, no. They're actually pretty clean. Realistic offer, 80 cash. 80 cash, okay. I'll think about that. Cool. Uh, these, these are relatively clean. What are you looking to get on these? Hang tag. A little bit of star loss right there. A little bit of star loss right there. 120. Like, these are all pretty, pretty reasonable numbers, I feel. Uh, I'd probably give you another 80 on these. Bro. Is it though? I mean, again, because I literally, I think I sold Cuddy, the one that you fucking sold me like a year ago. Oh, well, that was on you for paying too much. For 60. You sold him for 60? Uh huh. Uh, I could do 90 cash. I could do 100 cash. Those are Duke ones, by the way. Yeah, I could tell. They're, they're, they're 2011 ones. Unfortunately, no one really gives a fuck. Yeah, no, that was So, yeah, you're looking at 40 cash on that one. Oh, shit. <laughs> 
Like, what did you want on this? 50. Yeah. No. 30 on that one. You're gonna take back? Yeah, Why? They're new. Oh, it's right on. Who's wearing this? Uh -huh. Pubic hair in there? Not mine, but then this one better. Okay. Well, uh, I'd give you 50 cash on these if you wanted that. Yeah, take it off. Okay. 50 cash, you can do that. There's a size 13. What are you looking to get on this? Uh, 140. 140? Uh, I'd probably do 110 cash on these. We're just kind of heavy on 13s right now. They're pretty clean though. 110. <laughs> you come here to waste my time? I just came here to make like 10 bucks to shoot. Mm -hmm. I know, I'm sorry, business was booming. I had to yeah. kind of Well, uh, it is Friday, you know, people are getting paid right now. Their stimulus checks are going out. Uh, dude, these fucking suck now. Not new, but try it on. They got dirt all over them. Not new. Uh, we're gonna be super far off on this one. Is it today, like $40? Oh, I would do 40 bucks. I was at like 50, so we can make it work. 50 on these? 50? Yeah, put them at like 70, 80. I feel like someone would buy it. Yeah. All right, that's cool. 50. Those are brand new, so I'm probably not a rubber off. Well, it's a good shoe. Can you check what size we have right now? I know we, I think it might be 10 and a half, 11. Well, what did you want for it? Uh, 205. No, I couldn't. Yeah, I No. Not at all? No. Which ones are they, Mr. The 8s? Uh, or the 9s? The mesh ones? Yeah, the fucking, the worst ones. Feels like you're hooping in cinder blocks. <laughs> These are straight. Hey, any shot you could close that door? Because I just spent like 15 bucks running the heater. I mean, you were the one that opened it. What did I do? Well then, could you could you just close the door? <laughs> Sorry, it was a big ask. I know. What'd you want for him? Dude, market's one twenty-two. No, but you get your little forty percent, whatever. I mean, but this is not a dunk that's gonna be moving like crazy. Yeah. Uh, if you wanted, to, I'd do ninety cash on that one. That's pretty much what I paid on it. Well, that's not my fault. Pawn shop SB, like forty cash. Uh, that's fine. These Chobies. Damn. Someone fucked these up. What'd you want on them? Like six. Like six. What like 600? <laughs> Crazy guy. Okay, well, it just happens to be that a nine and a half goes for like a hundred dollars more than every other size. Last sale sitting at like 920. Bids at 760. These would probably move, but let's be real. Six is out of there. Okay. Six is out of the equation. For sure. I mean, I'm in the fours. Oh. Okay, well, what are you in? Hold off on those. These are the fucking beat S3s. You can keep these. U slides. Oh, good. Kind of musty. These bacon SBs or bacon dunks or whatever. These are actually kind of, you know. Not my thing, but I'm sure. It's a exactly. Like, I can appreciate this. This is not a bad one. Uh, I'd be at 90 cash on that one. Oh shit, like 60 on these. 75? 60. Uh, crisp 40 on these. Wizard 3, it, it's gonna be low. Under 100. How much are Uh, probably like 50 bucks. Dude, they're cooked. Quite a drop, yeah. How much on these? Mark is like 90, so I'm not thinking about I'd probably do like 60 bucks on them. Uh, and these would be donation. I think I just sold a pair. Two of these are loud. Uh, I'd be at 80 on these. Is that 90 on these? You said 80. Yeah, I, th I think 80 is my best on them. 80? Yeah, it's 180. So you're at 180 cash. All right, you got uh, 120, 40, 60, 180. Gotcha. Hey, appreciate you coming by. All right, don't know how much of that I recorded, but we picked up about what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven pairs. And this Shaquille O'Neal championship jersey, or not championship, uh, champ, champion, championhood fucking jersey. We got that going up for 30 bones. I'm expecting that to sell pretty quick. We got these A6 going up, 60 bucks, pretty clean. A lot of people have been wanting A6. We got these 97s, uh, but they got like this foam posit material looking on them. Uh, we got these going up for 60, 65. All these are gonna be online in the website, except for the clothing. Uh, we got these super moons going up for 110, pretty clean, size 13. Uh, these gold foams for my DMV boys out there, 
hundred bucks. A classic, the eggplant foam posit going the uh, going up for 130, uh, 120. Pretty lightly used. Then we got a few more. We got some pawn shop SB highs going up for 80, worn super lightly. And these Union Rattans, Rattan, Rattan? I don't know. Uh, these are going up for 70, size 10, super, super clean. I'm just gonna get these posted up on the website and we will see what the next customer interaction is. All right, what's going on guys? It's the next day. Didn't record too much yesterday. We made a few sales. We sold, we sold both of our Yeezys, uh, lost like 300 bucks on those, but I was gonna lose money anyways because I paid too high on them. So glad to see those sold. We got a few orders we're packing up this morning. I'll show you guys in a second. Uh, let's see what else, what else we got. Oh, we're also opening up at 10 a.m. this morning. We're thinking about opening up at 10 a.m. on Saturdays because people waking up early on Saturdays, they go into breakfast, maybe you wanna go check out the shop or something like that. And so yeah, I'm curious to see how today goes. Uh, I am expecting today to be the busiest out of the week because it is Saturday, paychecks hit yesterday. So curious, you got any words of inspiration for the people? <clears throat> Hopefully everybody comes in, um, takes a couple pairs. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. <laughs> words of inspiration, awesome, awesome, awesome. We also sold a few pairs off the shelf yesterday that we picked up. We sold those particle gray nines. Sheldon, if you could just zoom in, it's somewhere up there. And then we also sold, uh, I don't know where they're at, all the way in the back corner over there. Uh, some gold foam posits. Um, so we're making a nice little sweet margin on those. We also, we price everything to sell. So if you guys want to check out the website, uh, you guys can shop 24 seven. Orders go out Monday through Saturday and there's like a 12 to 24 hour turnaround time to get your packages shipped out. So uh, with that being said, enough blabbering. We're going to go pack up. Uh, we're going to go pack up some boxes. All right, what's going on y'all? We just packed up uh, yesterday's online orders. We sold some foam posits. We sold some particle gray nines. We sold another Supreme backpack. We sold some silver toe ones. Uh, we sold both of the Air Yeezys. Shit, what are the other two? Oh, we sold these Union Rattans for $70? Are you kidding? Man, I'm telling y'all, when I hate making money, I really do mean it, I hate making money. But yeah, I'm gonna go drop these off. Uh, this man is about to hold it down and I'm about to head out, fade to black. All right, what's good guys? So as you guys can see, we got the mini hoop. Uh, me and Andrew have getting, been getting uh, pretty acclimated. And there it is, all right. <laughs> me and Andrew have been getting pretty acclimated. So we're offering 20% off your entire order today. If you can be either one of us, mainly me, because Andrew don't got it like that. From this spot right here, uh, we're just gonna keep going until I make it. So just like that, you know, see that easy? But if you beat me, if you, there we go. If you beat me, you guys get 20% off your order. And if 20% off, if you want to come splash 20 bands, that's like what? $4,000 off. There you go. So that, to me, that sounds like a great deal. Uh, if you guys aren't stopping in store, uh, you guys are missing out on these sweet, sweet, sweet deals. But yeah, we'll see what the next person comes in. And did you get that on camera? Just, just sunk that. But yeah, uh, let's see who pops in for your first to get their 20% off. Did you want just like a price for everything? Oh, uh, or you can give me like for each one, or whatever. Okay. Whatever benefits me the most. Which okay. Like, I don't want you coming back with those. <laughs> so I'll give you, I'll give you an offer for everything. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Neither did I. I thought this was the Jordan One Low. The. Fly Yeah. Fly use ones. Yeah. I'm like. Okay. <laughs> the SBs. <laughs> which ones were they? The Power Puff ones. Oh yeah, that's a good one. I would hold. I would hold on to these. Yeah. Skylines. I actually really like these ones. Yeah. No, the skylines. How'd you hear about the shop? I stopped by Subway. Okay. Yeah. You saw the sign? Yeah, I saw the sign. I'm glad it paid off. <laughs> Normally, I go up in Upland to like resell. The holy, the holy ground. Yeah. Yeah, that's my boy. Yeah. And then I seen this one, and my girl drove by, and she's like, "You don't have to go that far. Take it with Yeah. You're you're from Azusa then? Yeah, I live like okay. literally down the street. Oh, that's awesome. And then there's just some collecting dust. So I'm like, Dude. totally get it. Cortez. Bearings. Uh, and I don't know how these, these go for, or I don't even get to sell them. Okay. Uh, yep, yeah, Neymar, I didn't even know he made these. Some shocks? I even looked up them ago, and they're like part of like four brand new though, so I don't know. To be honest, we'll probably just hold off on these ones. Okay. They would just be a tough mover for us. Oh, yeah, 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 cool. But for the offer we'd give you, you just better off, just keep them. Yeah. 700s. Knit runner. How do these feel to wear? Because I've been wanting a pair. 
Feel it comfortable? But you just have to make sure you don't have a thick saw because it gets tight. Yeah, it gets tight. Okay. One of those. I think I told you about. Ten and a half. Are they tight? So you have to go up half the size of. So if you're ten. Ooh, you're so. You probably have to go for like an 11. Because of the off white stick, I just like that full little silhouette. Chunky, for, chunky no lace. How long have you guys been open? This is uh, one week officially today. So we're pretty new. I guess you've been getting business or? Yeah, we're doing a lot of business online. A few people coming in, sell stuff. Honestly, we just, we really need just need people to sell to us just so we can constantly supply, oh, just like okay. online. Yeah. These ones, we were at 70 bucks on these ones. We were at 80 on these. 130 we're at 50 on these just some of them we're gonna have to put more time into them because we're gonna have to clean them uh, I was at 20 bucks on these ones these ones are pretty low just because they're pretty worn okay. uh, we were at 40 on those uh, we were at 40 on these ones uh, these ones we were at 10 bucks on just we're probably just gonna donate those these ones we were at 30 and these ones we were at 20 and then we were at 30 on these ones or 35 if you broke it down like that 385 385 yeah and you said, how much were the skylines you said? Uh, 40 on those. 40? Yeah. Yeah, I'll just, park, I'll just keep the skyline and the SB as well. Okay. And then you just, yeah. Were the SBs brand new? Uh, warm ones. Okay, yeah, you're better off just keeping those. Okay. Wear them a little bit more. Okay, so subtract 40, so we're at 345. That's cool. Cool. Let me go grab you some cash from the back. It'll be 350 just because we don't have any fives. Right. That's one, two, three, 20, 40, 50. All right, cool. Thank Appreciate you, you man. Cool. Yeah. You're going to hate this one. You got, you got to clean them. <laughs> Yeah, they're bad. All right, so we just picked up, uh, what is it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine pairs of shoes for 340 bucks. Most of them are pretty used, so we're gonna have to clean them up. For pairs that we're gonna have to clean more, we're just gonna have to offer lower, because I'm gonna have to pay him to clean them, and obviously labor is not free. So just wanted to kind of let you guys know why we offer what we offer. Like if they're clean, we can usually pay up a little bit more just cause we all we have to do is take pictures of them, tag them and put them up on the shelves. All right, what's going on guys? I didn't film it because Andrew was manning the front. I was heating up my lunch, have some beautiful tonkatsu ramen from H Mart, shout out H Mart. But we just sold some desert uh, elephant threes. That was a pretty solid flip on those. We sold those and then someone else came in and they were browsing through the closing selection uh, and they took uh, our ALD hoodie. We had it at 35 bucks. Honestly, a lot of our clothing is like $30 and under. A lot of it's like 10 to 15 bucks. Uh, and we're also going to the Rose Bowl tomorrow tomorrow, to restock on that. So I might I might film that. I might film that and see what's good with that. But uh, yeah, pretty chill Saturday. A lot of people have been coming through. I always ask everyone that comes through to see where they're coming from and how they hear about, how they hear about the shop. A lot of people have just been seeing the sign driving by. So uh, don't discredit old fashioned ways of marketing. Shout out. Shout out to the good old, old fashioned marketing tactics, a sign and word of mouth. Shout out to word of mouth because those have been uh, spreading like wildfire because sneaker shops are pretty, uh, are still a pretty niche market that they're not, they're not, it's not like a nail salon, you know, where they're on every corner. Sneaker shops, you might find one in every three cities. So word of mouth definitely travels pretty quick in the sneaker community and that could be good or bad. That's why we try to do a uh, good business by our by our lovely, beautiful customers. But uh, yeah, that's my update for the for the hour. Deuce. All right, what's going up, y'all? Uh, we sold like what two, three more shoes since I last recorded. Uh, we're at about a thousand dollars in revenue today. We were looking pretty solid, uh, but we did make our first boo boo. So yesterday, someone came in. It was a kid, and he was trying on some Yeezy slides. Uh, he had like a size 11, a size 13. He bought the size 13, and we just figured out that he switched the 11 and the 13 because someone just came in trying to buy the size 11, but there was a size 13 inside the box. So I'm kind of just waiting for them to come back in. And I told her, I told the lady that just came in uh, earlier that we're just gonna source it for her and I'll give her a call. So I'm gonna try to go out of my way and pick up a pair from Holy Ground, shout out Andrew, and I'm gonna sell it back to them because I do not want to lose out on the sale. They still bought some stuff, so that was cool. Um, but yeah, I just thought I'd vocalize my first uh, my first little fuck up in business. Hopefully they're not mad because technically it wasn't my fault, but I'm going to take the blame. Yeah, that's that's pretty much it. We got what, like a, we got like two hours left. Uh, it's been pretty solid today. We also bought a, a little buyout worth of shoes, uh, nine pairs, everything super cheap. We already cleaned it up, posted it up on the website and it's out on the shelves. Our turnaround time is getting pretty quick, so I'm pretty proud of that. So I feel like developing a pretty good system for that is gonna be pretty important. But yeah, if you guys wanna go shop some of that, everything, I'd say everything that we've posted so far, used pairs are somewhat profitable if you wanna wait for it and be be patient with it. But uh, yeah, shop the website 24-7, sneakersflay.com. I'm gonna keep saying it until you guys get tired of it. But yeah, that's pretty much all I gotta say for now. 
Deuce. Appreciate it, man. I've watched you guys since like COVID. Oh, that's what's up. Yeah. Damn. So like the beginning, beginning. Yeah. Are you looking for cash or store credit? Uh, can you give me both? Yeah. Cool? That's cool. You look like a 10 and a half. 10. Can you run the black light on these? Oh, let's go. Could you grab the size 10 or wood too? They just sold on StockX. Oof. Did we take these? I think it's a little too cooked. Ooh. Oh shit. These are kind of smacked. I got your offer whenever you're ready, bro. If you want, I can check out your stuff, bro. Size nine. Second pair today. What? I think we have a nine or a nine and a half. All right, so you'd be looking at 160 cash. For both? For both, yeah. Cool. Let me get your cash from the back. You got 100, 20, 40, 160. Thanks, What's going on, guys? Welcome in. All right, so you are looking, I passed on these ones. Okay. You're looking at 780 cash for these ones along with the Sean's. Uh, let me know the breakdown real quick. Yeah, so I was pretty low on these. I was like at 10 bucks. 10 bucks? Yeah, 10 on those. These ones I was at three. These, I believe I was at 250. Let me see. Uh, and these are pretty smoked. I'd, yeah. I'd probably just do like 200 on those. All right, I'll, I'll still win. Okay, yeah, I would too at that point. <laughs> these ones I was at 60. Just kind of hard to sell a yeah, yeah. Kobe if it's not like one through eight. Uh, and then these ones I was at 60 bucks. All right, we're close. I think we're, we're close on these. Okay, these are kind of cool. Yeah. What size? Ooh. Oh, what y'all think of these? Right there. Yeah, I know. Well, my foot is not this narrow, unfortunately. No, you 60 or 50? 60. 60? Yeah. So we're at 610 right now. 610? Could you use 650 for this I couldn't. 610s, because these ones are probably going to take a while to sell, and I don't really want to pay too high for a Kobe. To be honest, the only one I'm pretty sure is going to sell pretty quick is this one. Yeah. So this one I'll be making my money on. These ones I'm probably going to have to sit on for a while. Thank you guys for stopping in. You wouldn't do nothing on me? I just saw a few inconsistencies on this one, so I just wanted to pass. Are they fake? I don't want to say they're fake, but I would just just being safe. Okay. okay. Yeah. Well, you got fucking played, man. Oh, no. Well, I know the guy, anyways. So. Where'd you get them from? Uh, it was like a long time ago. Okay. Um, like during COVID. Okay. Just the netting kind of threw me off, and then the bottom should have a double stitch kind of throughout and right in the middle, and the uh, size tag looked a little off, and the insole stitching oh, yeah. looked a little. But. If you want, you can put them through like legit app and just yeah. get a second opinion. But usually when I see any inconsistency, I'll just pass off the bat. It's up to you, man. I don't want to feel, make you feel pressured into anything. I mean, will you kick them up a little bit? I'll do you 620. 620? Yeah. 630? I couldn't. I want, I want to stay at that 620. I think that's fine. You want to lock that in? Yeah, that's fine. Cool. I'll go get you cash in the back. One, two, three, four, five, six, 20. Awesome. All right, problem solved. Uh, the dude that miss swapped the shoes came back in and I gave him the right shoe and then the lady that wants those slides is coming in. So it all worked out in the end. And then we got my boy put in work, getting some pairs uploaded on the website. We got a few more people that came in. We picked up some uh, worn once uh, reimagined threes. We're putting those up for 240 on the website and uh, everything else that came in is already up on the website. So we're trying to grind it out. We close in like 25 minutes. So we're just trying to get everything ready to go. So yeah. All right, what's going on guys? I just got to the shop. It is 9 a.m., like 9 something, 9.10. Today is MLK day, so a lot of people have it off. And also a lot of businesses are closed. UPS is closed. I have to check if the post office is closed. I'm not sure if they are or not. But yeah, I decided to open today because people are gonna be off and that means there's an opportunity to make some sales or for people to come in to buy. Um, we also picked up a few things from my boy. He just opened up a shop. I'll put his information up on the screen. Pick these up for 20 bucks at his shop. It's uh, not too far from me. So if you guys are in the area, make sure to go check him out. Yeah, I'm just gonna get these online orders ready to go uh, and pack them up even if I don't have to ship them today. I still wanna get them ready because I'm by myself today. So if there's any downtime, like there's, there can always be something done. Today's probably gonna be the last day of this video just because I, I feel like I have enough clips for now. Hopefully as the store becomes a little bit more popular in the area, more people get to know about it, I can start knocking out one video in a day just from people coming in to buy and sell. Also, I don't feel, not comfortable, but I don't feel comfortable for the, for the customer coming in, uh, just immediately turning on the camera and uh, shoving it in their face. So 
I kind of try to take it by person, kind of read their vibes, see what they're on. But yeah, that's all I have to say for now. Also, how are you guys feeling about this little camera angle? Uh, it's kind of nice. I don't have to be super close to the um, to the camera here to talk. It's just strapped onto my uh, strapped onto my neck here. So uh, yeah, I'll uh, I'll pick up the camera again when there's something worthy of noting. All right, just packed up all the packages. We got about 10 pairs of shoes going out. We got two in this box, uh, one, two, and then we got about five or six in that box. So yeah, I'm gonna walk, not walk, drive over down to the post office and drop these off and hopefully make it back before 11 because it's like, it's 18 minutes to 11. So we will be back as fast as possible. Oh, all right guys, what's going on? It is 5.11, we close in like 50-ish minutes. Um, it's been pretty slow today, it's nothing crazy. Um, online is definitely carrying pretty heavy. We made we made around 1K in sales today. Uh, so that's pretty, pretty good for a Monday. It's nice because I don't really have to rely too, too, too much on foot traffic, although it would be nice. Like when foot traffic comes, it's great. Uh, we had some, oh, we got someone coming in right now. All right, just locked in another sale. Uh, we sold some zebras, we paid hundred bucks. We sold those for 160. So yeah, that was nice to end off the day. Well, it is 523, we might. I usually get like a nice little rush, like around like five to six which makes me want to open up till seven, but we will see how that goes. If the demand is there, like if there's consistent times where people come in at like 5.30, close to closer to six, uh, I'll probably have to push to like 6.37 and maybe cut back from 11, opening at 11 to 12, because not much happens from the 11 to 12 anyways. So it wouldn't really hurt me too much, but uh, yeah, made a nice little sale there. So that was pretty cool. Finished the day off pretty strong. So if you guys ever wanna shop online or come in store, I'll put the address of the shop right here in beautiful downtown Azusa, California. Or you guys can shop the website 24 seven. Orders go out within 24 hours of your purchase, Monday through Saturday. So in excluding holidays. The post office and UPS and stuff is not open on holidays, that's why. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you guys think of the style. I'm still trying to kind of my, find my footing in this, in this whole owning a sneaker shop type of content. I mean, I don't know. I might, I might bite uh, the whole flow of just setting up the camera and uh, doing some deals and shit. But, uh, you know, kind of maybe mix it in with some other things. I like these little segments where I just talk to you guys and kind of just let you guys know what I'm thinking and stuff like that. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. And uh, like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Follow the shop Instagram. And I will see you guys in the next one. Till next time, guys. Peace. Dang it, huh, slang it, huh Look a nigga really getting checks now, huh Niggas, huh, hating, huh No, they can't stay to get a bust down, huh Patience, huh, waiting Never too early, trying to flex now, huh Diamonds, huh, swinging, huh Knowing that it's coming, never back out, AP, roll out